Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to learn about sinusoidal response of RC series circuit. You can observe RC series circuit and this combination was excited by an input sinusoid of voltage V. Let us assume this voltage V as V equal to V cos omega t plus theta. So, and this excitation was given to the combination RC through a switch S. The switch will be closed at t equal to 0 and we have to imagine that the capacitor was initially uncharged. That means voltage across the capacitor is 0. Okay, so whenever you close the switch, then we can get a closed path where you can get the loop current I. So, I already told you in my previous videos also that this current I is I of t. It's a function of time t. So, instead of I of t, I'm writing I. So, please make a note of it. Okay. So, now let us apply. Let us apply KVL. Okay. So, firstly, we are writing the voltage drop across the resistor plus voltage drop across the capacitor equal to input voltage V. So, now what is VR? VR is R into I. Plus what is the voltage across the capacitor? 1 by C integral I dt equal to V cos omega t plus theta. So I want to uh, convert this particular equation into a normal differential equation. So for that I am going to uh, differentiate this entire equation with respect to t. So if I do then I will be getting R into di by dt plus 1 by c into differential of integral of i dt will be i only is equal to v for sine you will be getting minus uh, sorry for cos you will be getting minus sine and for this portion also you are going to uh, apply the differentiation so directly i am writing here v omega sine omega t plus theta so, I don't want any R term uh, before di by dt. So, I am going to divide this entire equation with respect uh, with R. So, if I do so, then it will be di by dt plus 1 by Rc into i equal to minus V omega by R sin omega t plus theta. Okay. So, call it as equation. One. So, if, if we can solve this equation, so what would be the solution? Current I is the solution. So, I will be having two parts. The first part is called the complementary function and the second part is called the particular integral or particular solution. Okay. So, from our basic mathematics knowledge, so the complete or uh, the uh, complementary function, sorry. So, the complementary function will be c into e power minus t by rc okay so call it as equation 2 now it is the time to calculate the particular integral so how it can be uh, obtained so it can be obtained using undetermined coefficients okay using undetermined coefficients okay so let us see how this uh, particular solution can be obtained okay so, for that, we need to imagine that IP as A cos omega t plus theta plus B sin omega t plus theta. Okay. So, call it as, uh, you know, equation 3. Okay. So, now, later, I am going to use the differential uh, part of this IP. I am writing the differentiation. So, instead of dIP by dt, I am writing it as IP prime. So, just apply the differentiation. There you get minus A omega sin omega t plus theta plus B omega cos omega t plus theta. So, call it as equation 4. Now, we are going to substitute these two equations in our equation. What is the equation 1? So, that is in terms of, let me write here. So, this is di by dt plus 1 by rc into i is equal to minus v omega by r sin omega t plus theta. This is our equation 1, right? So, here instead of i, you take ip. Okay. So, there you get the 
uh, solution for IP. Okay, so I'm doing here now. Okay, so instead of di by dt, I may substitute that with IP prime. So there we can get minus a omega sine omega t plus theta plus b omega cos omega t plus theta. Okay, so this is di by dt. That means dip by dt plus 1 by rc into i. So i is a cos omega t plus theta plus b sin omega t plus theta. Okay, so which is equal to minus b omega by r sin omega t plus theta. Now what you do, you separate sine and cos terms. There we can get minus a omega. Okay, so here is the sine, another sine part here. So this is plus b by rc into sine omega t plus theta. Now go for the cos terms. It will be b omega plus a by rc into cos omega t plus theta equal to minus v omega by r. Rest of the part will be same. Okay, so sine omega t plus theta. Now what we do, we compare both sides. So if we compare, then we can get a omega plus b by rc. That is the sine coefficient. What is the sine coefficient on rhs? That is v omega by r. Call it as equation 5. Now, so compare the cos coefficient. So this is b omega plus a by rc. So is there any cos term over there? No. So simply put 0. Call it as equation 6. Now you solve 5 and 6. There you get the expressions for a and b. So because the calculation is so easy, directly I am writing the expressions for a and b here. So now here a expression you will be getting v r by r square plus 1 by omega c square and b expression will be minus v by omega c into r square plus 1 by omega c square. Okay, so these are the a, b expressions. Now you concentrate on equation 3. So this is i, p at which a and b were there. Okay, now you substitute a and b with the obtained expressions. If we do so, we'll be getting the relation for i, p. So let us see how that can be. So now i, p equal to a, that is v r by r square plus 1 by omega c square. Okay, so a cos omega t plus theta plus b. So b expression is minus no. So plus of minus it will be minus only. So directly I am writing here minus v by omega c into r square plus 1 by omega c square. Okay, that is b. b sine omega t plus theta. So this is our ip. Okay, so if I don't want to uh, write this entire kind of relation, I can convert this equation into a compact size by assuming m cos phi as a, that is v r by r square plus 1 by omega c square and m sin phi as v by omega c into r square plus 1 by omega c square. Okay, so if I can calculate m and phi, then I can convert this ip into the small compact equation form. Okay, so let me calculate the phi first. So as we already know, sine by cos will give you tan. So that's why I'm considering the same only. So let us divide m sine phi with m cos phi. Now what is m sine phi? This is v by omega c into r square plus 1 by omega c square. Okay, into directly I am writing. So the reciprocal I am taking here. So this is v r by, sorry, it's not v r. If I take the uh, reciprocal, okay, so this will be r square plus 1 by omega c square 
divided by V R. So this portion is there no numerator. So this part gets cancelled. So V gets cancelled. So what is the leftover? So here M gets cancelled. We will be getting tan phi equal to 1 by omega RC. If I want to calculate phi then it will be tan inverse of 1 by omega RC. So we got the expression for phi. Now it is the time to calculate M expression. So how we can get M? We can square and add these two equations. There we can get M. So let us do that. So firstly I am taking M square cos square phi plus M square sin square phi. So what is M cos phi? So M cos phi will be, I am directly uh, taking the square also, M square R square by R square plus 1 by omega C square whole square. Okay, so this is M square, M cos phi square. Okay, so M square cos square phi plus M square sin phi. What is M sin phi? That is V by. So directly I am squaring. So V square by omega square C square into R square plus 1 by omega C square whole square. Okay, now what I can do now? So I can take this portion that is, uh, you know, so here I will write. So, okay. so concentrate on this part. So this is m square only because cos square phi plus sin square phi will be 1. So m square equal to, so take v square by r square plus 1 by omega c square whole square as common. So what is the leftover now? This is r square plus 1 by omega c whole square. Can I write like this? Yes. Okay. So one of the terms gets cancelled here. So now, uh, what is M? So if I want M, I have to apply the square root. Okay, so there we can get, uh, you don't find any square here. So this will be V by root of R square plus 1 by omega C square. So this is the expression for M. So now, how we can write IP? That is M. That means V by root of r square plus 1 by omega c square okay so this is uh, m cos omega t plus theta plus tan inverse of 1 by omega r c clear okay so like this we can write the relation for ip so we already discussed that the complete solution for the current I is, what is the complete solution for the current I? So I is complementary function plus particular solution. So we already got the relations for IC and IP. So let us solve the complete solution. Now I is equal to, that is C into E power minus T by R C plus uh, what is IP? So we just derive the relation. So simply write that one. So V by root of R square plus 1 by omega C square into cos omega T plus theta plus tan inverse of 1 by omega R C. Okay, so this is our complete solution. Still, C is unknown. So, this C can be obtained using initial conditions. Using initial conditions. Okay. So, uh, you imagine the circuit. So, this is our supply voltage. So, here we got the uh, switch that was closed. Okay. So, this is the resistor. Uh, what is the behavior of the capacitor? And how the initial, capa uh, initial charge over the capacitor? We already assume that the initial charge of the capacitor is zero. That means voltage across the capacitor is zero. So that means it behaves like a short circuit even though the switch was closed at t equal to 
0. Now, what is the current now? In this case, current I is equal to V by R. So, we already assume that the supply voltage V is V cos omega T plus theta divided by R. So, at T equal to 0, current I is equal to V by R cos omega T plus theta. Now, you substitute these conditions in this particular equation. So, what is I now? This is V by R cos omega t plus theta, which is equal to C into e power t is there. So, substitute 0 plus V by root of R square plus 1 by omega C square. Okay. Into, okay. So, let me erase this part. Okay. Right. So, into cos omega t is there. So, uh, put 0 plus theta plus tanverse of 1 by omega rc. Okay. Right. So, uh, if we do the calculations, then we will be getting the expression for c as v by r cos omega t plus theta minus v by root of r square plus 1 by omega c square cos theta plus tan inverse of 1 by omega r c. Okay. Right. So, this is the expression for the c. Now, what you do? You substitute this c, expression for c here in this equation. So, we can get the complete solution for the current I. Okay. So, once we got the current, there we can calculate the voltage drop across the resistor, voltage drop across the capacitor. Similarly, we can find the power dissipations also. Okay. So, I hope this video uh, will help you in understanding the sinusoidal response of RC series circuit. And if you find any uh, good point or uh, interesting uh, way of uh, explanation and all, okay, so please do share this video with your friends. Okay, so please support our channel. And thank you so much for watching this video. Thank you so much.